Hello, and welcome to NextStar's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Visual Force Workbook. This video covers Tutorial 8, Inputting Data with Forms. In this tutorial, we're going to work on creating input screens to use with the standard controllers. These input screens will be consisting of forms that will allow us to update and create records within our force.com environment. To begin, we're going to create another new Visual Force page. We're going to call this page My Form. Let's go ahead and click Create. Now down here in the page editor, we're going to go ahead and set a couple of things. First thing will be standard controller. I want to select account again. So we're going with the account controller. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to new, use a new element called Apex, oops, Apex Form. Now within the form block, we need to define some fields. So first thing, I'm going to define one field. I'm going to say input field with the value of the account, account name. So let's go ahead and let's go, well, before we save this, and we're also going to add a command button. And we're going to set the the action of the command button to save. And we're going to set the value or the text on that button also to save. And then we're going to go ahead and save the whole page. Now to explain a little bit further what we just did is we went ahead and created a new Visual Force page and we added a form to the page with two elements in it. An input field that we tied to an account name and a command button whose action is to save. Now what this will do is if I go ahead and enter a name in this input field, I'm going to call this test account. And when I click the save button, that is going to create a new account record with the name test account. So let's click save. Now we've created a new record within force.com as an account with the name test account using our visual force form. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete this. This is just a test and we'll go back to our form. So that's a simple demonstration on how powerful Visual Force Forms can be and how we can actually allow users or take user input to make changes in our force.com environment. Now that we've demonstrated the basic functionality of a Visual Force Form, I'm going to show you how some of the standard Visual Force user interface components can be applied to this form and really flesh it out and give it a finished look and make it a little bit easier to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is within the Apex form, we're going to create an Apex, for, uh, an Apex page block. And then an Apex page block section. And we're going to take our existing form content and put it in there. And I'm going to go ahead and add one more field. I'm going to add the Add the account industry field. So we've got a name and an industry field for our account form and the save button. So let's go ahead and save this and see what that looks like. 
now that we've included page blocks and page block sections into our form, the standard user interface style has been applied and cleaned up our form to make it look much easier to use. So now it labeled our fields. We have account name and industry. And it automatically created the appropriate controls for the appropriate fields. Now the last thing I'm going to demonstrate in this tutorial is the Apex page messages element. So right below the page block, I'm going to add Apex page messages. And what this will do, this element will incorporate any warning and error messages related to this form in the Visual Course page and let the user know that there are problems with the form or the data they're trying to submit. So if I go ahead and click Save, and now if I try to save the form, the Apex page messages element is now giving me this error message showing me that the account name field cannot be empty. This concludes our tutorial on Visual Force Forms. In our next video, we'll cover tutorial 9, Reusing Pages with Templates. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click to follow us on Google+. Thank you.